Hey everyone, welcome back to Kali Plants. It's me again, Mark. Today we're back at the greenhouse and with another video. And for this one, I think I wanted to share with you my process on how to deal with succulents that are not growing or just laying dormant or probably they're not doing anything for a very long time. So I have the, I've had the succulents and most of these succulents really, if I let them um, go on their way, if I don't do anything to them, they will just die. So I want to share with you my process on how to make them active again and also I want to highlight some of them to you in this video. Because recently if you can see at my greenhouse, uh, I already have a lot of plants so I'm doing a lot of arranging, rearranging right now. I have some plants incoming so I think that I should probably repot some of my older plants just to prepare for my new plants and also I can <laughs> reuse their pots. So these big pots that are that has these large succulents to them, I would be transferring them to smaller pots so that I have room for my newer, bigger succulents. Now, now, now succulents will be put to waste here. I'm not gonna be throwing succulents. I'm just gonna make sure that they will be alive. So yeah, there's, um, there's just some succulents here that I wanted to um, repot to care, take care of again. Okay, so I have some potting mix down below. And I think I want to start with this Echeveria Green Eyes. This plant has been with me for a very long time. I think it's one of the older Echeverias that I have. And yeah, it's a very chubby Echeveria and it wasn't doing anything for me back then. And right now, it's not doing anything either. So what I'm planning to do is I'm going to be splitting apart these two heads. And then we're going to be putting them in these smaller sized containers. Okay, so let's do that. So while you're watching me repot this Echeveria green eyes, I think I just want to share with you my process on how to care for succulents if they are not doing anything. What I would do is usually I would leave them be and I will treat them like any other succulent just to observe if they will improve over time. I will not be repotting them right away because sometimes if succulents are new and you repot them right away they might die because they're very weak so i will wait for them to establish a little bit before i repot them okay so i just finished removing all of the dead dried leaves at the bottom and you can see that these are the two heads that we have and you can see the amount of roots they have just very tiny okay they have very small roots so that's telling me they're not doing well in this potting mix and i think i can guess why because this potting mix is already very dry and there is a lot of sandy particles on it okay so that might be one reason your succulent is not growing you added too much fine pumice into it so i would recommend really to sift your pumice before you um, plant your succulents in them because if your pumice has a lot of sandy materials your succulents will not do very good so yeah so now that potting mix will be thrown away okay let's go on to our to the planting these ones And so now as I'm repotting these two plants, I realized that because of their potting mix, they might have been bonsai, so they weren't growing any roots, so they weren't growing a lot. So the pot, the space in the pot was actually wasted because they're not growing. So now I think that it will be happier in this pot and in this potting mix, I added more organic materials to it and I've used less pumice. So hopefully they will be happier that way. I will just be mindful of not overwatering these two little babies because they're very thick succulents and I've had experience of killing Echeveria Lawi before and Lawi hybrids because of overwatering so now I'm just gonna be careful not to overwater these two okay but hopefully they will grow more so you will see more updates on that okay now let's move on to our next plant and we're gonna go with this um, Echeveria Runyonii I recently featured it others call it uh, Lucita and I had it repotted very recently but I think that it's not doing good in this potting mix so I'm gonna be replanting it also Okay. And now I have it replanted in this new container, so I'm hoping that it will grow and grow because um, yeah, I added a lot more organic materials to it. So hopefully it will re-establish in this container. Okay, so there's that. So Let's move on to our next plant. This is my Echeveria, oh no, Graptoveria Debi. It's kind of looking nice, the colors are nice, but the growth is not very quick on this one. 
So you're probably noticing it as well as I do the Palamar Pating Disruptor videos uh, or this Disruptor the videos a trend that all of them, all of these succulents that are not doing well, they have this potting mixes that have a lot of pummies and have a lot of dusty particles so I would really say that uh, succulents really doesn't do well in that type of potting mix so I'm using a much more organic material heavy potting mix right now and also this plant used to have mealybugs so yeah that is another problem that you might want to look into if you're noticing your succulents are not growing probably they have an insect infestation let me also just add that the Graptoveria debi and the Topsy debi are both um, insect attractants so they're very attractant to mealybugs to pests so really I would not recommend them if you don't want to have a lot of insect problems but they are very beautiful so if you want to risk it and if you don't have problem with mealybugs you can try them out next problematic plant is this Echever elegans so I recently have a lot of problems with this plant so let's just repot it okay let me just say that you shouldn't wait for your plant to deteriorate this much to replant, replant them if you're noticing that they're really not improving over a period of a couple of weeks then I would recommend that you repot them right away sooner or later but just make sure that they are dry when you repot them so that you won't have any problems with rotting but yeah I would recommend you adjust your potting mix if they're drying out too much then give them more organic materials because really another problem that you will be dealing with these plants if you don't replant them right away is you will be getting a lot of mealybugs so that will deteriorate your plants health much more further so I would recommend that you replant them once you're seeing that they're not improving so just like with this one but this one just took a little longer to repot for me to repot because I was still waiting for it to improve and looks like it as it looks like it wasn't improving in that potting mix anymore okay so let's move on to our next plant this is another plant that is not improving okay this crassula and it's really dry so I'm gonna be putting in this in less sun Okay, so, old, so the old roots on this one is died, has died off, so I'm gonna be um, planting them higher because it's got some new roots at higher up on the plant. So I'm gonna replant it higher. Probably I will cut off this bottom stem or remove most of it. Okay, that's gonna take a while to establish. I'm just gonna be reusing the old pot. Okay, so let's hope that it does better in this pot mix. Okay, on to the next one. This has the same problem. Okay, and it just popped off, uh, popped off out of its pot when I bumped into it the other day. So yeah, we're gonna be replanting that. But it has some nice um, air roots growing already. So we're just gonna be burying that into its new potting mix. Okay, so another way to care for um, succulents that are not growing is to really give them protected sunlight because they're not establishing right away. So I would not recommend you give them blazing hot sun. Put them in an area in your garden where they will get um, much more filtered light and not direct blazing hot sun. Okay, so there's that. Hopefully it will improve. Now the last one is this Crassula Tom Tom and I don't know why it died but it used to be lush. <laughs> okay, so I think that it needs a good repot. What I think the problem with the Tom Tom is it wasn't establishing itself because its potting mix was too waterlogged. So I might have overwatered it so it's not looking so good. And also I think I planted it in too big of a pot so it wasn't drying out very quickly and now I think that it would be happier in a smaller pot if it doesn't improve then probably I will replace the plant I will buy another of this small size crassula yeah so this is a really sad looking crassula so I think that I won't be giving it uh, direct sun probably I would put it under the greenhouse where it will get filtered light and hopefully it will get better in there and if it doesn't do any better then I will be replacing this said plant okay so now let me just clean up all the mess that we have and let me show you the plants that we have repotted so here they are here are the plants that we have replanted on this session okay I still have a lot of other succulents that are not doing well that I have to replant but probably I will show them in a later video so this is our Ronyonii our green eyes, our grassula, not, that's not looking very good. Our elegance, okay, and our Graptoveria debi, okay, it's looking sad. The bottom leaves are dry. I didn't want to overwater it, so I wasn't watering it too much. The grassula variegated barbecue that we have, really sad looking, okay, I will 
be putting them in much more filtered sun from now on so that hopefully they can re-establish and we can see more growth on them. Really sad. But at least we managed to separate the two green eyes. And I'm hoping that they will just get larger. Because I just know that this plant has the potential to grow larger and I'm hoping that probably in this spot it will do much better and it will grow larger. So yeah. So now I hope that you learned something in this video while we're repotting this um, kind of neglected succulents, the sad looking succulents. I hope that you understood that succulents, growing succulents are really, it has a lot of problem solving to make your succulents grow, to make your succulents thrive. So you have to be mindful of their needs and you have to adjust your care if necessary to make them grow better. And I hope that you like the tips that I gave you. If you did, please make sure to hit the thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already. But I think that's about it for this video. I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.